I've tried to record this like five times. <laughs> Let's try this again. All right. Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning February 10th, 2020. So yes, happy Valentine's Day. I will be pulling a couple of extra cards in honor of Valentine's Day. All right, so before we get into that, I do wanna thank all of you for your support. It's been a rough couple of weeks and uh, the love that you have shown me right back at you. I love you all so much and I really, really, really appreciate not only how much you've been there for me, but how you've been there for one another. I love that. And again, thank you. I also want to mention, uh, I just noticed that I'm nearing almost 100,000 subscribers. What? <laughs> almost. I'm at like 98,000 something. So if you can hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, like this video, what have you, that helps out a ton. All right. So let's get into this week's message. I'm going to just close my eyes here. Uh, and let's see what is coming up. Okay, <laughs> I want to say heart math. If you guys don't know what heart math, I think it's the Heart Math Institute or something. I don't know. I just heard that. Um, I think there is something like that out there. So we want to look at that. We want to look at the heart intelligence and have that online with the brain. We talk about that quite a bit. Yeah, they're showing, and I've used this example before, where unfortunately there have been children who are now adults who at some point sort of, as I've said, got their wiring snipped. And so their empathy went away because they experienced some sort of real trauma or some sense that they weren't worthy or not loved or what have you. With that wiring gone, not gone, but just kind of disconnected, they've become programmable. And so we then start to get conditioned to accept things. And it's a very popular uh, idea, especially in spirituality, to not sweat the small stuff. And I agree with that 100%, but don't not pay attention to it, <laughs> right? So there are things that people have been trained to just let go of. Oh, even when I've mentioned them as examples in videos, oh, watch watch the people down below and how they respond. Oh my gosh, you're this, you're that. And they start to get um, angry, like angry and defensive and, you know, things like this. And what we're, it's, they're terrified of being found out. Yeah, um, this is a weird message because it's not their fault that they had their wires kind of cut. That's just the way I'm putting it. And that they can't, their logic can't communicate with their heart. It's not their fault. And yet they are massively destructive. If something doesn't feel right for you, it is an act of self-love to set boundaries. You hear me talk about that all the time. If something doesn't feel right and you feel disrespected, you don't want to sit there and just go, oh, I'm just being ridiculous. I'm making too much out of it. Um, what was it? A few weeks ago in one of the weeklies, here's an example. I used an example of how people would just leave me sitting there by myself um, and make me wait on them and not being respectful of my time. When I had to work my whole day around to make sure I got there on time, they wouldn't show up on time. And people really got defensive about that. I'm not saying that if you're just, because we're all, you know, speaking of wiring, we're all wired differently, right? <laughs> Some people are not as meticulous as I am. I got it. I try to, if I'm late, it's because of something out of my control. And I'm going to be letting you know the whole time. Not everybody's like that. But what I'm getting at here is, when you're listening to your instincts, what is what is someone trying to establish dominance and what is just, okay, that's just how he or she is, right? Like they just, they're not good at watching time. That's a different thing. That's not what we're talking about here, okay? But start watching how you feel, you know? Start experiencing that and not doubting it. So I'm trying to think of some other examples. Uh, if someone goes, oh, you know what? <laughs> These are dumb examples. I'm going to tell you right now. You know what? You don't look very good in that dress. As a matter of fact, you should never wear that dress again. And maybe you were feeling really beautiful. And then someone says that to you, right? And you're like, oh, oh, this was terrible. That is just meant to lower your frequency, okay? You don't look bad in the dress. It was just a game to knock you down. But see, the reason why I think this is coming up and the messaging that's coming forward is that the people who would say stuff like that 
they've fallen prey to something. I'm having a hard time with this because I'm somebody, you guys know my history with this stuff. Um, but we need to have compassion. So compassion is not the same thing as letting people run all over you, okay, and being a doormat. Compassion is observing. It's being witness and protecting your own energy, okay? And getting into the intelligence of our heart. So do some study on that this week, guys. And really, I think we're getting meditation homework. Okay, <laughs> I love this. So meditating on flowing and attaching the, the brain waves with the heart brain waves. The heart intelligence, right? <laughs> getting online with that. Anything else around that? Okay, I think we'll get the rest of the story here in the cards. So let's see what we've got going on here. so funny we were supposed to get like one to three inches of snow i think there's like seven or eight inches of snow out there and it's been snowing for almost 24 hours <laughs> oh. all right so there's our first card uh chrysotile animals you know what's so funny i have been getting going more towards a little bit of shamanistic healing and um restoring myself in that way and even going on shamanic vision journeys kind of thing, <laughs> right? And doing all of that. And animals have been popping up everywhere. Now, my spirit animal is deer. It's been deer for many, many years. And actually, I was just doing a meditation last night where deer appeared again. But the antlers were like crazy big and like sparkly. And there were like things hanging off of the, the antlers. It was really interesting. And... Um, Deer knows how to walk along with me so that I can kind of hold on to him. He lets me hold on to him. So I think that's cute. And it's kind of funny that this comes out. <laughs> so some of you might be taking a more shamanistic uh, viewpoint in, in order to get in touch with your heart. Uh, but this is, I feel very much, it's just nature, not just nature. I mean, it is important to be connected to nature and for grounding. So yeah, I think that's going to be an important thing for us this week. So make sure... Messages coming through animals as well. So don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if you have a crow show up or a red hawk or, you know, an owl. I don't know why I just thought of all like birds, but, you know, something along those lines. There's a different way that nature and spirit is trying to communicate with you. Okay. Oh, this is Master Teacher card, Divine Temple Source. This is how Source is trying to get through to you. Oh my gosh. So this is a very spiritual week, uh, a, a great week of opening and understanding, but it's not an intellectual understanding. It's an understanding that you experience throughout all of your body, through every cell in your body. And you start to feel that source is lighting up within you. 2020 is a time where the old is deconstructing and going away. And the new is coming on in and we're finding our way to source, but letting it flow through us in a more natural way than trying to contrive it. Because we do see a lot of people out there who's like, you know, this is how I do it and this is how you should do it. Or this is my religion, so it should be your religion. And this is you finding your own way. Sorry, big edit. I've got the sniffles. <laughs> I am fighting a cold like, I'm telling you, ugh. It's not going to get the best of me. I will be healthy 100% by tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> All right. The next card we have. I love this card. It's Tanzanite Clarity. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? So Clarity, we have, you know, Divine Source. What is it? Divine Temple. The card is Source. And then we have Clarity. This has this feeling of you don't need to try so hard to find Source. And for everybody who's ever experiencing something in the physical world okay and you think that the answers are outside of you this week is really going to show you that that's not it's not going to work you might have been able to get away with that before but not anymore <laughs> okay and actually that makes me think of some personal reading so if you would like a personal reading with me go to my website at angelsouls444.com and we can look at some things and get you reconnected into your spirit you know that's what i do here and also thank you to everybody who supports me by getting courses on Gumroad and Teachable and for your support on Patreon. I didn't say that at the beginning, so there we are. <laughs> All right, but I love this. Nice week of clarity, but it feels like internal sort of spiritual clarity. For some of you, this might be why your relationships are going the way you, that they are, why you live the way that you do. Oh, all the cards fell down. <laughs> Look at this. Morganite relationship healing. Wow. 
Okay. Now, this is healing the relationship between you and the divine. <laughs> First and foremost. Now, if you want to be on the surface level of everything, if that's where you live and that's how you exist, okay, fine. But um, this is like healing of depression even, okay? So, of course, if you need help in that area, reach out to a professional. But uh, relationship healing definitely talks about reconciling who you are and feeling that connection with source. This is amazing. Quite powerful. Okay, so now we have the color card. And after this, I will pull some romance cards. A word of caution to anybody who gets too hung up on the, I mean, there, there are people out there who only think about love partnership. They only think about relationships. And that leaves it wide open for people to uh, put a lot of concepts in your head to, you know, it's not bad to ask about love because a lot of what we're doing here is interacting with one another and connecting. And of course, finding our way back to source, right? But if you get obsessed about it, it just drains your energy. And then what are you doing with your life? right? You're just wondering and waiting if someone's going to call you or text you back. It's a drain. It is a drain. Take your energy back. Don't let others have it. All right. Healthy relationships only, please. <laughs> right. We Did we have this last week? I don't remember things. This is white lighting up. The number is 24. Someone pointed out that this was Kobe's uh, jersey number 24. Uh, this is a white feather. Look at all this divine energy. God is with us. God is with us. If you don't like the word God, I don't tell you. I use the word God. Uh, you interpret that any way that's comfortable for you, but please don't judge others, okay? Uh, yeah, so this is us getting back in touch with our true nature, guys. I mean, can you guys give me, give me more? Give me more. What's this going <laughs> to... Now I'm giddy and excited. What's it going to be? Mm-hmm. Making spirit the focus because we are spirit. And by making spirit the focus, we are starting to get to know ourselves. We can heal the relationship with ourselves. And we can start healing some of that conditioning, right? To just let it go. To just stop it. Now listen, from an energetic standpoint, I know we don't need to sweat the small stuff or take it personally. But we need to also stop turning a blind eye to people who are just kind of coming in, just taking a little bit of your energy, just enough so that you don't really recognize it. And then it goes on for decades. And then all of a sudden you're like, why do I feel drained? <laughs> why do I feel like this isn't, you know, my world anymore? Like what, what happened here? Uh, so we want to be careful with that. Be on alert, not in a fearful way. It's just stop making excuses. End of it. All right. So here's this little deck that I got. <laughs> ages ago. They're like little business card sized cards. So we're going to pull a couple of these and then yes, there's these cards. Again, throwback, but um, we'll pull a couple of those too. But let's see what we have. Okay. Can you see me? <laughs> oh. Okay, that should do it about right there. One more. Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have love befriends. And the number on here is 52, which reduces to seven. I love that. You know why? Because, you know, this is still kind of amping up that whole idea that we shouldn't be competing with one another. We should not be so worried about, I don't want to watch that word, word should, but uh, we want to focus more on connecting with one another and being supportive as opposed to, you know, I got to get one over on you. I have to make more money than you. I have to have a hotter girlfriend than you. I have to have, you know, all those things just to try to put yourself above somebody else. That is that kind of thing where someone's gotten their wires snipped and now they're kind of a puppet of whatever force is sort of seeping through this world and they're trying to tell us how it is. Stand up observe. Don't get too involved. You don't want to get that energy in there, but it's time for us to stop placating, right? Because it's just too overwhelming for us. Now, again, I agree. Not everything needs to be our battle. Not everything has to be our fight, but 
Start recognizing it is all I'm saying. All right, we have 27. The, the number is 27 on here. Uh, love grows. Oh, cute. These are so cute. So love grows, number 27. This is talking about, what are you showing me? It's like irises at the bottom here, if that's important or significant to some of you. And then, of course, there's roses and it's like a little tree, <laughs> like a little rose tree or something like that. But love grows. You have to grow the love within yourself or you're not going to have a connection with anybody else. It is not fair of us to go and use somebody else as our source of happiness. That puts too much pressure on them, too much pressure on the relationship, whether it's a friendship, family relationship, a romantic partnership, what have you. Your real blessings are within you. And that is what we are learning this week. Okay, so there's that. Love grows. One more and then we'll get a romance card. This is the number six. What? Love is coming. <laughs> Some of you out there are like, this wasn't a very romantic reading. Well, there you go. Okay. And I'm just reading this. It says, seem to be coming your way. Hearts, love seem to be. Hearts or love seem to be coming your way. I don't know what that means. Anyway, love is coming. So love is coming. And again, I'm going to first and foremost say it's divine love. It's not coming. It's already here, but you're going to start discovering it. But for some of you out there, if you're single, maybe not for long. Okay. All right. Man, the setup here. All right. Okay. What do we have? What do we have? Let's get another card from here. And I do not pull these out, but like once a year. Interesting. All right. And our final card for this week, guys, is, oh boy, past life relationship. You have known each other before. Can we talk about why I don't use this deck? It's, it's dated. Sorry. You, you want to argue in the, <laughs> go right ahead. I'll just sit in an observational mode. The artwork on this card looks like the cover of like a romance novel, okay? So it's sort of romanticizing this past life relationship. Here's the deal. I'm going to lay it down for you straight up. There's nothing that interesting about a past life relationship. What'd she just say? What'd she just say? There's nothing that interesting about a past life relationship. You know what? Because we all got them, okay? We all have something from a past life something on this linear little thing with other timelines looping around and God knows how that time space dimensional stuff works. But you have known each other before that. <laughs> okay, that's me just being a curmudgeon. Okay, sorry about it. But what I want to say here is that as we get to know some of our past life relationships, can we all stop over romanticizing what is just innately part of being human and part of being spiritual. I mean, uh, do you know how many times people will use this among other terms to go, I have to be with him or her because we have a past life relationship. It's not special. It's not special. Okay. Because everybody has something like that going on. One, one of y'all out there knew me before. I know. And you're probably sitting there going, she has never changed. <laughs> but it bothers me that there's like this, like, it's almost like saucy artwork on here. And it's like past life relationship. Like you're just so irresistible because we've had a past life together. Okay, let's pull another one. Because I think I just ruined that for everybody. Let's get... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> People are going to hate me this week. I just, I can't take it. Okay, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Also a bit much, but... uh Okay, I will stop stepping all over y'all's romantic thing. True love. How are you going to hook up with a true love? <laughs> all that heart stuff that we were talking about from the beginning of the reading. But again, I still stand by the fact that this is a very dated deck in the way things are presented. But whatever. Debate at 11, okay? Yeah, there's some good stuff coming in. But I think this is more about reconciling past life relationships, fine. That clears the way, opens your heart. And, oh, I need to, I need to have that out. Um, this will, this will end up clearing the way so that the cards fell down again. What is happening? <laughs> it 
Is there, is there too much energy in here? What happened? Ooh, all the love angels are like, will you stop telling everybody that this is, you know, bad thing, whatever. But anyway, cleared away a past life dynamic so that true love can come in. All right. But bottom line, if you don't love yourself, if you are not in your own good graces, <laughs> if you are not taking care of yourself, if you are not getting in touch with source, you won't know what true love is when it's right in front of you. So you have to work on that internal world first. Leave it open for the universe. Let the universe show you what's possible. All right, guys. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Hang on, guys. Before you go anywhere, I'm going to be doing a little after show type video that I will premiere right after this video. So join me over there. Bye. Oh, I'm going to be talking about what I got myself for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Come hang out with me. Yay.